the number one reason for drone LiDAR is vegetation penetration. Here behind me, I have 60 acres of dense Atlanta, Georgia forest captured with the Rock R3 Pro in under an hour. And with the power of the Rock Cloud, we can strip off all that vegetation and just see that bare earth topo. Dang! It's difficult terrain like this, fully vegetated with sticker bushes and hills that makes traditional surveying time consuming, dangerous, and downright, I don't wanna do it. But if you did have to do it, and you had to walk through all these trees and the vegetation cut in line, either with a total station or a prison pole, or trying to get RTK fix inside the woods, it's gonna take you a long time, it's gonna be dangerous, you can do it, it's how we do it today, but it's not really the most optimal way to do it today today. And if you wanna try doing photogrammetry with a drone, well, you know, cameras don't see through the trees. But drone LiDAR can. Let's take a look at that hardware, and then we'll take a look at the data. Enter Drone LiDAR. If you're a land surveyor today, this is gonna be your new best friend. Because you don't have to walk through the woods, you actually fly above and over and cast about 640,000 laser pulses shots every second. Each one of those has two returns, so it actually cuts through that tree canopy down to that bare earth. And with the Rock R3 Pro, it's never been easier. So let's go ahead and actually just jump into the data and see what it looks like. Woo, woo, here we are back in that data set. As you can see behind me, we got that dense vegetation, super thick trees here in Atlanta, Georgia. And we can actually see the colorization looks just phenomenal. Let me go ahead and just pan along that forest front right along this road. And you can just really see, look how dark those look. It looks like you're actually looking into that deep, deep dark forest. It looks crazy. I don't wanna go walking in there, that's for sure. I'm glad we flew above it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pan above and go ahead and zoom down in this little opening I got here. Just show you that even from above, we can see that bare earth floor. Look at that detail. Even those tree trunks are colorized over there in that section. It's pretty insane. But that's not what you guys want to see. You want to see how well do we capture that bare earth of all of this forest floor. So go ahead, let's turn off the trees right now. Wow, okay, look at this guys. So total bare earth, great, great coverage here on the forest floor. That was dense vegetation and look how many points we have right here. But okay guys, let's go ahead and look over at our control points to see the accuracy of that data set. Let's go ahead and zoom over there really quick and just see how accurate our surface is to that traverse done with a total station and a prism pole. Okay, that's pretty spot on. I mean, look at that. That point is directly on the points of our points. So that is an incredibly good alignment. We can go ahead and show the accuracy report for a second. 0.081 feet, that's under a tenth of a foot in that dense vegetation. And that's phenomenal as well. Just think, that's all being captured through this dense vegetation under this forest canopy using the Rock R3 Pro. Now guys, the whole rock ecosystem is what makes it really magical. Going from that hardware where you can fly in the sky, the desktop so you can see your data in the field, make sure you captured everything. And then the rock cloud, which takes your data sets and processes it into that final deliverable in the correct projection. It really is this rock ecosystem A to Z and that's what makes it so special. But anyway guys, I hope you guys liked the video. Hope you learned something about the number one reason for drone LiDAR is vegetation penetration. If you don't agree with me, please leave it down in a comment below. I'll make some more videos. If it comes up that's really cool, I'll do another one about your idea. Mm -hmm.